Hello everyone, this is Ariel Taib. In this video, I'm going to show you a game that was played between Bobby Fischer and Mikhail Tal. We're continuing this series, and this game was played in 1959, and Mikhail Tal had white pieces. And Tal started with e4, Fischer played c5, the Sicilian defense, the knight to f3, d6, d4, c takes d4, knight x d4, knight f6, knight c3, and a6. Yeah, this is the knight of variation, and Tal played bishop g5. He liked, he loved to play bishop g5, he played it also against uh, Alexander Kroblenz. I already show you the game. Actually, the game by this game and the game that was played by Etal against Koblenz is going kind of the same for a while. e6, f4, threatening e5, bishop e7, unpinning the knight, queen to f3, queen c7, castling queenside, knight for b to d7. And in the game between uh, Tal and Koblenz, I mean, Koblenz played something like h6 and then knight d7, and Tal put his bishop on e2. But in this game, Black played knight bd7 and Tal immediately go queen g3. He is not playing bishop to e2. So he is kind of pressuring the pawn on g7. Not really at the moment, but black played h6. Attacking the bishop, bishop to h4 and, g4, and rook g8. There is an idea to play g5 immediately. Uh, but the point is just to get d5 square for the knight. So black prepared it with rook to g8, bishop to e2, g5 h takes f takes g5 and h takes uh oh 95 actually uh black can't trick white i mean m you might think that black can play h takes g5 bishop takes g5 and then knight h7 and there is a triple attack on the bishop on g5 but here actually white has a big advantage i suggest you to pause the video and try to find out how white can get get a big advantage here so pause the video and find out Okay, I hope you found it well. Just before I show you, don't forget to drop a like to this video, leave a thumbs up because it's really helping me to grow this channel. In the game, uh, no, it didn't happen in the game actually, but uh, if knight h7 was played and knight takes e6 attacking the queen, and it's kind of hard to play this position as black because after f takes there is bishop to h5 check, and if king d8 there is simply bishop takes, king takes, and queen takes g8. And actually, king to f8 is even worse because there is a mate in 2. I hope you found it already. Bishop h6, rook g7, and queen takes g7, checkmate. So this position is kind of tricky, and this is why Tal played it. But in the game, black just played knight e5. Of course, the knight cannot be taken because the queen is hanging on g3. So Tal played g6, knight takes g6, and rook to f1, and double attacking the knight on f6. So black took it. Queen takes and rook g6 defending both the knight and the h6 pawn. Tal played bishop d3, putting the, the bishop at the same diagonal as Fischer's rook. Knight g4, discover attack on the white's queen, queen h5 and knight e5. Tal played knight f3, trying to trade the, the, the knights, queen c5, knight takes, queen takes, and they trade few pieces, the pawn on g2 is under attack, so g3, but as you can see here the material is equal, both sides has a pair of rook, six pawns and Tal has a bishop and a knight uh, versus two bishops. Nevertheless, black played bishop d7, bishop e2, bishop c6, bishop h5 attacking the rook and the pawn on f7 is also hanging, so rook f6, a3, kind of a prophylactic move against bishop to b4, rook d8 and here they trade everything, king d2, bishop g5, king d3, bishop to c1, Attacking both pawns, so white can't play b3, so knight d1 defending, check, c4, and now bishop to a4. The point of giving this check was to provoke the c-pawn to move, and only then bishop a4 really attacks the knight, threatening to take it, and then take the pawn on b2. Of course, the knight is already defended by the light square bishop, but uh, white will lose a pawn. So white played knight c3, counter-attacking black bishop, bishop c6, and knight to d1, and after king f8, h4, yeah, in this position, they just agreed it to a draw because, you know, this repetition, it's not going to give anything. I mean, black or white can't make uh, any progress here. So, uh, in the game here, they just agreed it to a draw. I know I showed you two games. And this is already the second game that I'm showing between Tal and Fischer. And it's always like a draw, 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 draw. But don't worry because... The next four games that was that were played between them, I'm not going to spoil anything, but um, none of them none of them was a draw. I mean, the next four games, none of them were drawn. So uh, that's it for today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then please drop a like to this video, leave a thumbs up, 
And also subscribe to this channel if you want to, to get notified whenever I upload a new video about a game between Tal and Fisher or generally when I upload a video to this channel. That's all for today. I hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.